So welcome to Sync Math Differentiation Part 2, the quotient and the product rule. So previously we covered the basics of differentiation and we are going to move on to the quotient rule. Let's go. So rule number three is the quotient rule. It states that, you know, for this fraction here, when we want to differentiate a fraction u over v, what happens is for the denominator, remember for quotient rule, the denominator rules. So we are going to start with the denominator, square it at the bottom, and then the denominator will put it up, differentiate the top, which is u, and then minus u, and then differentiate the bottom. So let's try it out. Let's try to apply the rules, okay? We have this example here. It's 5 over 2x minus 3. That is a fraction. So we can use the quotient rule. So same thing. I am going to use the denominator first. So I'm going to square it. Denominator rules. So I'll square it. And then the denominator, I will copy it on top. And then after that, let's look at this 5, right? When I differentiate 5, remember 5 is a constant and I differentiate any constant, it's a 0. Easy enough. And then u is 5, my top is 5. Then now I will differentiate the bottom. So we have to take turns, yeah? So let's differentiate the bottom. The bottom is 2x minus 3. When we differentiate it, it becomes 2. So now anything multiplied by 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. And when we simplify it, we simply just get negative 10 over 2x plus, uh, sorry, minus 3 squared. All right, so now we're done with the quotient rule. Let's try something a bit harder, yeah? So now we have 5x plus 2 over 2x minus 3. Same thing. We are going to square the bottom, which is 2x minus 3, and then bring, copy that up, just don't square it. And then now we differentiate the top, 5x plus 2. When we differentiate that, we get 5, because x is to the power of 1, so 1 times 5 is 5. And then we have to minus off. So, well, it's the top's turn to remain normal, so we copy the top and differentiate the bottom. 2x minus 3, when we differentiate it, we get 2. And what we get here is, let's simplify that, so 2x multiplied by 5 gives me 10x, minus 3 times 5 gives me minus 15. And then just be careful of the brackets, so 10x, this gives me 10x, and this gives me 4 over 2x minus 3 squared. Now we just have to simplify it. So 10x minus 15 uh, minus 10x plus 4. So 10x minus 10x gives me 0. Negative 15 negative 4 gives me negative 19 over 2x minus 3 squared. All right. Simple enough. Let's go on to the next one. So I just want to highlight here that for the first fraction that we did, so whenever the top here is just a number uh, without any uh, like x partner, we can also use the chain rule that we learned before to differentiate. So what we have to do is to write this whole thing in terms of indices. So this expression here can also be written as uh, an indice. Remember, this is to the power of negative 1, which is a fraction. And then we can use our chain rule. If you guys remember the chain rule, how to apply it, we differentiate first the, the whole uh, bracket yeah, with respect to the bracket. So negative 1, I'll bring the power down. Yep, the inside remains the same, and this one becomes negative 2. And then we differentiate the inside of the bracket. Remember, it's chain rule. And then what we have here is 5 times negative 1 times 2, which gives us negative 10. And this is, uh, you know, remember your indices. This is actually a fraction. 
So we will get the same answer as using the quotient rule. This is just in case you forget your quotient rule, the chain rule comes to the rescue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just remember, if you want to use the chain rule, it's fine. You can just uh, change it to an indice form. The thing is, it's only for integers on numerators. If it's 5x, I suggest it's better for you to use the quotient rule. Okay, let's go on to the product rule. So the product rule states that if I want to differentiate uh, to uh, different uh, products, for example, x squared times x minus 2, I will simply have to differentiate 1 multiplied by not differentiated 1 plus then they will switch places. I will differentiate the other one, which was not differentiated, and then multiply uh, by the other one. So let's just try it. Well, it makes more sense to demonstrate. So we have x squared multiplied by x plus 2 here in this example. So simply, let's just choose one, one partner. So let's just choose x squared. We're just going to let x squared be normal. And then we're going to make 1 not normal. So we're going to differentiate this. This gives us 1. And then, well, the life is fair, so we got to let the other one be normal now and differentiate x squared. So x squared is 2x. And what we have to do now is simply to really try to um, simplify it. So 2x times x gives me 2x squared. And 2 multiplied by 2x gives me 4x. So what we get is 3x squared plus 4x. Okay. All right. Great. Now let's try one more product rule example. So here we have x plus 6 squared and x uh, multiplied by x plus 2. Let's try it again. So let's just leave this alone because, yeah, it wants to be alone. So, all right. And then let's uh, differentiate the second one, which is x plus 2. So when we differentiate that, it gives us 1. Uh, all right. Now it's the other terms to be normal. So we just copy that down. And look at this x plus 6 uh, square, right? Remember, this one we use the chain rule. So uh, it's, gonna, it's got a bracket. So we just differentiate with respect to the bracket first, 2. Bring down the 2 and then x plus 6. So this one, 2 minus 1 will become 1. And then differentiate the inside of the bracket, the inside x plus 6. Differentiate the inside of the bracket, that will give me 1. When I differentiate x, it will be 1. So now we simply have to simplify it. So x plus 6 square plus, OK, let's go for this. So this is 2 x plus 2 and x plus 6. Okay. And then we got to simplify it, right? So, well, for me, I'm lazy. I would uh, prefer to factorize it first before expanding uh, both. So, I see 2x plus 6. I see an x plus 6 here and an x plus 6 here. I'm just going to bring that out and factorize it. So, this will be x plus 6 uh, plus uh, 2x plus 4, right? So 2x plus 4. And then I will have x plus 6, and x plus 2x gives me 3x. 6 plus 4 gives me 10. And then I will do my rainbow method uh, expanding. So it will be 3x squared plus 10x plus 18x. That gives me 28x. And 6 multiplied by 10 gives me 60. So that's our answer when we try to do and apply the product rule. So thanks very much, guys, for checking out this video. I hope you guys learned about the quotient and product rule. Do feel free to leave uh, more feedback below. I would be sure to read them and uh, also try to improve so that, uh, to help you guys as well. And all the best for your math. See you.